hey guys welcome to another video in this video over here we're gonna do the unit 3 big 10 questions um the guy who made this pdf is called cr calculus i will leave the description in the, yeah, the link in the description in case you want to get a free version of this pdf um he has a lot of other products some of them are free some of them are paid so you can scroll check what you like and download or buy whichever you like so First, first question, they wanted me to find h prime of 9 given that h of x is a composite function of f of g of x. So the first thing that you have to do, you have to find the general form of h prime of x. So h prime of x, it is f prime g of x. According to chain rule, you have to multiply by g prime of x. So h prime of 9, it is going to be f prime g of 9 g prime of 9 so g of 9 it is 1 so f prime of 1 and g prime of 9 is basically equal to 3 now according to the graph because this is the graph of f prime of x f prime of 1 is 1 so 1 multiplied by 3 it is 3 number 2 <clears throat> Uh, j prime of 1 given this beautiful function of course we're going to use chain rule and some rule of derivatives which is literally nothing like you just find the derivative of each part and that's it so j prime of x it is 2 e 2x minus 2 because it's u prime e to the power of u plus 2, open brackets. Uh, the lin u, the derivative of it, is u prime over u, which is going to be 2x plus 1 over x squared plus x. So j prime of 1, it is going to be 2. e to the power of 0 is going to be 1 plus 2. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1, 3 and 1 plus 1 is going to be 2, cross, cross, 2 plus 3, 5. Beautiful. Number 3. <clears throat> Consider the curve xy minus 2x is equal to negative 9. Evaluate dy over dx, our first implicit differentiation problem. To do this, you must isolate, or not even isolate. You can like just work it out however you like, to be honest. So xy minus 2x equals negative 9. Now, if you ask me, I would have isolated x, y, like I would have isolated the x from the y, you know, like divided by x, divided by x, and move the negative 2x from ne to the next negative 9. However, you can literally just derive it as it is. So you can literally take it as it is, and derive it. So x, y, you have to use product rule for this. So u prime, it's going to be 1 because the derivative of x is 1, multiplied by y, plus x multiplied by dy over dx minus 2 equals to the derivative of negative 9, which is 0. So basically, we're going to replace x with 1, y with negative 7. So negative 7 plus dy over dx, negative 2 is equal to 0. So dy over dx is basically equal to uh, 9 because negative 2 and negative 7 are going to go to the other way. It's going to be 9. Um, over here, we got uh, k of x is equal to g of x, f prime of 7x. What is the slope of the line tangent to the graph at x is equal to 1? Whenever they tell you the slope of the line tangent, they basically want you to find k prime of 1 in this case, because they want you to find it at x is equal to 1. So k prime of 1... Let's find, first of all, the general form of k prime of x. According to product rule, it is going to be u prime v plus u v prime. Now, v prime, it is not just f double prime of 7x. It is basically f double prime of 7x multiplied by the derivative of inside according to chain rule. So multiplied by 7. So now k prime of 1, 
it is going to be g prime of 1. Now, g prime of 1, it is basically negative 8. And then f prime of 7, it is basically 1 plus g of 1, it is negative 1. And f double prime of 7, f double prime of 7, it is basically the slope of this line over here. So this line is very similar to y is equal to negative 2x if you translate it to the origin. So the slope over here is going to be negative 2 multiplied by 7. So after all the calculation, negative 8 positive 14 it is going to be positive 6 now in number 5 same exact question instantaneous rate of change is literally the same as slope of the line tangent so now m prime of x this is going to be quotient rule over here and still you're going to use chain rule for the numerator so the numerator is going to be g prime u prime 3x minus 2 multiplied by the derivative of inside which is 3 that is all of that is my u prime v which is 4x minus u v prime which is 4 over 16x squared so m prime of 2 uh, 3 times 2, 6, minus 2, 4. So g prime of 4, it is going to be 3. So 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 times 2, which is 8 minus. 3 times 2, 6 minus 2, 4. g of 4, it is going to be 2. 2 times 4 is going to be 8 over uh, 2 times 2, 4 six times 16, which is going to be 64. Now, 3 times 3, 9, times 8, it is going to be 72. 72 minus 8 is going to be 64 over 64, which is going to be 1. We're going to stop this video over here. We're going to continue in another part because apparently we still have like five more questions. And please make sure to see the other videos if you're having trouble with differentiation. And we're going to be posting unit 4 very soon. Thank you so much.